Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. For today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys my skincare routine. My skin is looking pretty rough right now. I haven't done this routine in like a few days, I'm not going to lie. But yeah, today I just want to go through my entire skincare with you guys and show you everything that I do. I feel like I look like I'm late for soccer practice or something with my hair like this. But I absolutely hate getting water just in my hair and stuff when I do my skincare, when I'm washing my face, and also just the products I hate when it gets in my hair. So that's why I have this headband on and that's why I also tie my hair up. But anyway, the first thing that I'm going to be doing is waxing my upper lip. That's something that I need to do. So I have the wax heating up here right now. And then I'm also going to shave my face. I have my little facial razor here that I got from Amazon. Also, I'm so sorry if the lighting is just terrible in this room. I'm in my guest bathroom and honestly, even in my bathroom, I feel like the lighting is not good. I have no windows in this bathroom, so it's just kind of bad. I can't wait till I have my own house and I can have, you know, windows in the bathroom. That would be amazing to have natural lighting. Now I'm going to shave my face. I always use coconut oil. I just put it all over my face and then I go in with my facial razor. I usually just leave this part alone right here. I already waxed my mustache, but I'm just gonna go over it a bit in case I missed anything. Let me show you guys how much hair came out. This is so gross. Now I'm going to wash my face. I'm going to be using my Dior Charcoal Cleanser. The first time that I used it was when I went to see my friend. It was in her shower and I tried it out because I had forgotten my cleanser. And it worked really well for my skin. So this is what I'm going to be using. I'm almost through my first bottle and I definitely will be repurchasing this. I just do about one pump. All of my washcloths are dirty right now, so I'm just gonna be using a paper towel to dry my face. And I always like to pat my skin dry instead of just swiping it up and down and pulling my skin. You don't wanna do that. I did want to mention that usually if I have makeup on, I would go in with my micellar cleansing water and take all of my makeup off. I'll use a cotton round, put that on it directly and just get everything off and then I would go in and cleanse but since I didn't have any makeup on, I just went straight into cleansing my face. Now we're going to tone. I like to take a cotton round and these ones that I have have two sides. There's an exfoliating side 
and then just a regular side. Right now, I'm just gonna use the regular side. And then I'm gonna put some of my toner on there. This is the facial toner from the brand Best. I think I got it in a gift basket and I've just been using it. It works great, it's not bad or anything, but I've never heard of this brand outside of this toner, but this is just what I'm using. You could use any toner that works for you. This is especially good if I've been wearing makeup and then I take my makeup off with my Garnier Micellar Cleansing Water because even when you take your makeup off and cleanse your face, you can still have leftover makeup on your face. So using this helps to get that remaining makeup off. Since I wasn't wearing makeup, I don't really have to worry about that. I'm more so worried about getting all of that oil off that I just put on my face. By the way guys, I have very sensitive skin. So if my skin looks red right now, it's just because it's sensitive. I can touch my face and it'll get red. So it's not irritated or anything like that, especially when I get right out of the shower. My whole body is just covered in red marks. And I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the water, the hard water. When I have a house, I definitely want to get my own water system and have soft water so that I don't have to worry about that as much. We do plan on getting a house within the next few months, definitely by the end of the year. So if you hear me talking about, you know, my house and all those things, it's because we're house hunting and we're trying to find our forever home. I can't wait though till we do that. I can vlog when we move in and show you guys that whole process, show you my new house. Right now we're in an apartment. I mean, it is a nice apartment. It's a three bedroom. We have a garage and everything and a pretty spacious driveway. But you know, there are certain things that you cannot do when it's not your home. So it would be nice to have our home. Okay, I think I've toned enough. The next thing that we're going to do is I'm going to apply my vitamin C serum. This vitamin C serum I have is vitamin C and niacinamide. It says brightening and it is from the brand Florence Beauty. I think they're at Ulta, but I got mine at TJ Maxx. Guys, you can get so many things at TJ Maxx that you can get at Sephora or, you know, Ulta. And in my opinion, I don't know, at least for now, I'm, I'm not rich or anything. Like these people that I see on YouTube with their skincare routine that's like hundreds of dollars. Um, that's expensive and I don't have that kind of money. So you will find me shopping for my skincare at the drugstore, at TJ Maxx, places like that. With the exception of a few things, of course. But yeah, this is my vitamin C serum. It's really good. It's been working for my skin really well. I'm like more than halfway through it. The brand is natural and vegan. So that's another plus. It comes with this little dropper. I usually just use one vial, is that what you call it? I just put a whole vial in my hands. That feels so good. You don't want to miss under your eyebrows. I feel like my skin is starting to come alive again because at the start of this video, I mean, I was less red, but my skin was in desperate need of hydration. Next, I'm gonna go in with my e.l.f. Holy Hydration Daily Moisturizer. It says it has hyaluronic acid, jojoba seed oil, and vitamin E. I'm just gonna put about two pumps of that. Before this, I was using the CeraVe Daily Moisturizer. And that one is great too, but I just wanted to try something new. And I really like this one. It's also affordable. You can find it at the drugstore. And I'm all about affordable skincare. I don't believe that you need things that are super expensive for them to work, you know? Like the most natural products. I mean, this isn't natural, but a lot of times they contain the same ingredients, the same basic 
natural ingredients and why would I spend my money on something that is like three, four times the price? I wouldn't. Next, I'm gonna go in with my eye cream. This is from the same line as the e.l.f. moisturizer. This is the e.l.f. holy hydration eye cream. I got this at the same time as that moisturizer. I really like this though. It doesn't irritate my skin at all. Okay, I put a little too much there. And it's super hydrating. I never really used to use an eye cream, but I feel like since I'm getting older, it wouldn't hurt, you know, to use one. I never knew that I needed eye cream until I started using it. Because even when you moisturize your face, that thin little layer of skin up here can get super dry. So I'm just kind of rubbing that in. I was trying to pat it in, but that kind of takes forever. And then I'm going up to my eyelids as well. I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like the longer your skincare is on throughout the day, the better it feels too on your face, like when it's just had time to sink in, if that makes sense. Okay, now I'm going in with my Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. This is like one of the only things that I have that's like high end, but I honestly swear by this. It's amazing. I have so many lip balms and I keep coming back to this one. It just takes a little bit to soak into your lip. Normally, if I was going outside, I would put on sunscreen, but I'm gonna just be inside today, so I'm not gonna be putting on sunscreen, but I'll show you guys the one that I usually use. This is the Neutrogena Clear Face Oil-Free Sunscreen with SPF 50. This is pretty good. It does have a white cast, but I just rub it in really well and then it goes away. Um, but yeah, this is the one that I usually use. I'm not gonna use it right now, but normally if I did, I would just put it right over that moisturizer that I use, the e.l.f. one. I also have this facial mist from Bayer's. I don't know how to say it, the company name, but I have this facial mist. I like to spray this on my face sometimes as well. This one is in the cucumber scent. So yeah guys, that is my skincare routine. This is what my face is looking like. I know it looks really red right now. I probably should not have waxed and shaved my face right before showing you guys my skincare routine. My skin is not usually this red. It's just because of shaving it and it goes away in like an hour so my face will be back to normal soon thank you so much for watching please subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you guys in my next video